is Fish Guy going through an identity crisis? Was Wide Max the key to orders 2 a week? And where is Halo? All this and more on week 8's episode of Who's Captain and Who's Captain. We haven't got the same studio this week, so welcome to the green screen edition. On day one, we had Order going up against Chiefs, hoping to knock them down in the standings. Both of the ADCs made the usual LCO claims that they're very confident going into the game. Yeah, we're definitely confident coming into Order today. Before every game, we're all confident. Despite the assurance, we have a bonus Syndra go up against Puma Ziggs, and the better ADC won on the day. Also on day one, we had Gravitas against Peace. Both teams were on a five-game lose streak, Gravitas picking up the win, prompting Peace to make a roster change the next day. Order are on an upwards trajectory and may even take the first seed spot away from Pentanet. Day 2 saw them go up against each other with a never before seen performance from Biopanther on Jack. Moonfall has been invested in the top lane, and that's the end of Biopanther. Ooh, I said Ultimatum on top of Biopanther, and the hero's entrance locks him down. Nowhere to go. Hopefully, this is the first and last time we see Biopanther's Jack. LCO closed out the week with Chiefs versus Gravitas. Chiefs got a great Aurelia pick into Syndra and Nar. Actually, they first picked Aurelia. You're telling me they picked Syndra and Nar into Aurelia? Yep, that's right. Gravitas are up the creek without a paddle. Kisei ults over the wall, jumps over the wall, kills everyone, does everything. Twitter chat is non-existent. We're seemingly getting a cycle of lots of drama one week and no drama the next. Maybe after this week, I'll be making a Twitter smurf to start stirring up some drama on my own. The only thing I can find this week is Pabu's headset here. Enjoy. Jews has been 1v9 in the content this week. Do you think Shock is the king of mid? I think he's probably playing the best out of all the mid laners in the league. And I've been 1v9 in the game. Cause any problems and Shock, he won't miss. 4 0 and 7. He definitely isn't capping. No, no capping. And a little bit of a gap, and <laughs> if you don't mind. While Juice is on my good side, I'm going to go ahead and say that he is, in fact, the real Juice. I'm a little bit nervous because I feel like he's kind of replicating my look a little bit. I don't want to be known as the budget one. Is he going to overtake me as the guy with, like, the beard and the better car? Like, you know, I'm scared. Some Why? people are saying, am I doing a Juice cosplay? And some people are just saying, <laughs> is that too Juice on the show? <laughs> oh, I my feel like... goodness. Let it be known. I'm the real I'm waiting. Dude. I don't even know what to say, man. When I, I saw it. your facial hair, I knew this was going to happen, and I wasn't happy. You need me to shave it off. Yes, but I think, Jubes, you've got the look, yeah. and it can be copyrighted. Yeah. Jordan, you're just going to have to wear something different. I'm cosplaying Jubes this week, so I think we're going to get ready for a Nat cosplay next time around. Gungrab got his first play that delivered, calling in airstrikes on the Legacy line. Target marked. Send it. Week 8's clip comes from the PGG Ord match with PGG showing some masterful team fighting. The clip starts out with Prince of Filios dodging the Braum and Varisol, and then the Galio ult being wasted immediately after. Decoy gets one shot, but it doesn't really matter because Aphelios and Victor are free hitting. Ord try and leave the fight, but Victor manages to kill Camille with his Ludens prop. Kevi tries to look for a re-engage, but can't quite find it. Order are trying to leave, but Pabu's Volibear has something to say about it. He flashes in and manages to Zonya the Galio E, making sure the Galio dies. Biopanther's Jax jumps in to help finish the Galio and then flashes out of the Diana ult. After that, Predic and Chaz both flash forward and manage to pick up two more kills at the back end. Time for some standings. With it being just one regular season week away from playoffs, we have a lot to unpack from the standings. Pentanet and Order are tied at first, but Pentanet hold a 2-1 record over Order. Chiefs, 3rd at 13 and 6, Darwin's 4th at 12 and 7, 5th Peace at 8 and 11, and Gravitas and Legacy at 6 at 7 and 12. Interestingly, both Gravitas and Legacy have the head-to-head -head over Peace, so if Peace doesn't stay ahead, then they'll be kicked out of playoffs. The only team not able to make playoffs is Mammoth at 8th, 1 and 18. Thank you all for watching our eighth episode of Who's Gapping and Who's Capping. Your boy, the King of Mid, will be back next week.